Can you turn that off? It's real annoying. Sorry about that. Well, thanks for coming, Ben. Can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Thought you might have stayed at the hospital to rest. Lazy! No worries. I just got really bored there and wanted to continue this Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I thought you found Allah. So isn't this fantasy world haram? Maybe that's why he's sending cars crashing into your spine. I'm not Muslim. I have no labels. Oh, thank God. Would hate to deport you mid-campaign. That's Islamophobic. No, no, no. I love the Muslims. For real on Allah. So what are you, Ben? I don't know. I found many things during this second coma. I found the beauty of God, Yahweh, Allah, and more beings. Even Buddha. You saw Buddha? The skinny one or the Donald one? Are you calling me fucking enlightened? Because I agree. I don't know. It's not really what I saw, but how I felt. You know there's no science behind God? No studies or facts? I care more about my feelings than facts right now. I see what you did there. Well, good luck on your spiritual journey, Ben. If you find the answers, let us know. Thank you. I guess coming close to death several times kind of changes one's perspective. God must really love you. Keeps trying to get you into heaven. Or it's not God, but something else. Kooky conspiracy Joe back at it again. Well, enough about me. I think it's time we continue our journey from where we left off. You undertook a strip club heist, successfully nabbing the ruby from Savan Pinkor's office. Now it's time to meet the old beggar and return it. Sounds awesome, Ben. I'll be honest. I kind of missed you, Shabubert. The last dungeon master. Well... You won't have to worry about him ever again, Don. What happened? It's confidential. National security stuff. Right, right. I apologize. I forgive you, but I won't forget. Okay, so let's start with a quick reintroduction to your characters. Paladonald, the paladin. Obarman, the ranger. I am Joey, the cleric. I am proficient in healing. My highest stat is wisdom and my lowest stat is strength. And I'm ready. And I am not listening. Is Joey allowed to keep switching his classes? If he was allowed to switch classes, I'm sure he'd pick kindergarten. Stop. Um, typically no. The rules of D&D 5e don't have any retraining feature. But according to my notes, it appears I've allowed it in this campaign. Hmm, I don't remember writing some of this stuff down. Even with all the cars landing on your head, your memory is still better than Sleepy Joe's dementia. Great. Now it's time to continue our adventure. The trio of Obarman, Paladon, and Joey head out of the seedy part of Kinsville and away from the gay club. With the ruby in their possession, they go back to the old man. Are we really giving the ruby back? We made a vow. Come on, Paladon. Don't you want to live up to your Paladin oath? This might be my last day before they arrest me. I say we sell the ruby and go to a casino with blackjack and hookers. Aren't hookers what got you into this mess? Ugh. The old man appears out of nowhere and interrupts your conversation. I can already tell you found my ruby. Thank you so much, he says as he holds out his hands. No, no, no. Let's think about it. Paladon. Come on, man. I'm trying to be a better person. For Michelle. For my daughters. Oh, boo-hoo, with your estrogen. There's no coming back from the things we've done. I disagree. We can always redeem ourselves. Redeem these nuts in your mouth. I hand the ruby back to the old man. I behead the old man again. Again? No, I didn't play when you were gone. It's not true. The old man senses your hesitation and reaches into his pocket. It turns out he did have gold all along. It is a heavy pouch filled with 500 coins. This is for your troubles. He says, I knew it, you cheeky Jew Ben, holding out on me with the gold. That's anti-Semitic. No, 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 I'm not anti-Symmetrical. I love Gal Gadot and all hot Jews for real on Yahweh. Fuck's sake. Everything is going exactly as planned. You don't have to add in extra rewards, Ben. Don just needs to learn to shut the fuck up and behave. No, no, the gold was always part of the quest reward. See, Obarminj, this is why I'm the businessman. I always get us the best deals. I'm all about deals. And you look like you're all about meals, too. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Surprised you didn't sniff that old man's beard. Who? I exchange the ruby for the pouch of gold. And I take that pouch. I'll hold on to this, Obarman. Thank you so much, says the old man before he turns and limps away. 500 Jewish gold. It's not Jewish. Oh, boy, I wonder what we can buy. Golly gee, let's go see what snacks this town has to offer. I could do with a chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream or maybe chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chip with sprinkles and maybe a flake and even some vanilla sauce and chocolate chip. They and must have so many unique animal steaks in this world. Damn, you boys have got me all hungry. Let's go find ourselves the finest restaurant. Wonder if there's a Hooters. Okay, so the three adventurers, after completing their first quest, head towards the food district of the town, excited to spend that hard-earned gold. Until... 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 Holy golly, Magoo, what was that noise? I didn't hear anything. In the blink of an eye, a shadow covers you and disappears. You all look up to see... 
a black pegasus. This dark, majestic creature has never graced this side of the realm with its presence before. High up in the sky, it flaps its wings and gallops its feet in the air, getting further and further away. My goodness, wish I could take a picture, but cameras haven't been invented yet. Did you say it's never been seen here before, Benny? What the fuck? Imagine how much we could sell it for if we catch it, or how tasty its meat must be. You see a black creature, and the first thing you want to do is sell it? <gasps> if we had one of those, we could go anywhere. I roll to attack it. It's in the sky, Paladon. You cannot reach it. All right, relax. I roll to throw my sword at it like an epic javelin, killing it and capturing it. Idiot. You roll with two dice for the distance disadvantage. An 18 and a two. Woohoo! Disadvantage means we go with the lowest number. Woohoo! That's 20 in total. Not how it works. You got a two. Paladon launches his sword into the air, but the black pegasus was too high up. Now there's a sharp, deadly blade falling from the sky at a remarkable speed. Oh God, let's get in cover. I put my shield up. Wonder if they have cows in this realm. Otherwise, what milk is the ice cream going to be made of? Hmm. As you all brace yourselves for Paladon's sword, you see a group of five rugged, tough-looking bandits 10 feet away from you. They're part of the Thieves' Guild and are too distracted watching the Pegasus fly away to notice the blade coming towards them. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The sword lands in the back of one of the unsuspecting bandits' heads, instantly killing him. Woohoo! Sorry, Obarman. My high score just keeps getting bigger. You are now engaged in combat. Combat with hobo bandits? When are we going to fight dragons and make out with the queen or whatever? Patience, Paladon. All good stories take time to develop. I'm not sure how much time Joe has left in this world, though. Gosh, I love it. Thinking about all the exciting things we'll discover in this story. Yes, in the coming years, I hope to introduce new factions, animals, races, monsters, even new bugs. Here's a cute bug fact. One day you will have to answer for your sins and God may not be so merciful. Okay, guys, let's focus. There's no respawning in this world. We have to take every fight serious as any one of them could be our last. Wait, what? And this dumbass lost his sword. Wait, what? It's okay, guys. I use the legendary hero Lucky. The fuck does that even mean? Wait, this is someone else's memory. So I can go through the basics of combat with you guys. There's usually an initiative order based on dexterity. Go on. But since this is your first time, I'll give you the advantage of surprise. Come on, then. The unsuspecting bandits are startled and confused by a sword from the skies impaling their comrade. They are not fully ready for combat yet. I roll to roll away. No, let's listen to Ben first. Right. So we've got the initiative order. Obarman goes first due to his highest dexterity. Bullshit. You have many options for your actions now. Attacking depends on the enemy's armor class or AC. If your roll is greater than or equal to their AC, it's a hit. Then we roll again for how much damage. AC, roll again. My arms are going to get tired with all this rolling. Most exercise you've had in a while. Maybe try exercising your brain before the Parkinson's takes over completely. Focus, guys. Well, there's a lot to keep track of. Keep it simple, Benny. For Joey's sake, not mine. Okay, fine. Just roll once for your actions. And I'll keep track of all your stats and determine if it's a success or not. Perfect. So this will be our first serious fight. Don't mess about, guys. Paladon, since you have no sword, focus on using your shield to protect us. Don't tell me what to do, bitch. I'm Captain America. Oh, no. Please, no. I roll a 20 to throw my shield and bounce it off every bandit's head and get bitches. Um, okay. But Obarman was meant to go first due to initiative. Right. Okay, relax, Ben. Let them play how they want. Be a flexible dungeon master. Don't get angry. It's not good for your health. Remember the god voices? You know what, Ben? Jew wheelie need to wheelax. Uh, you got a two. You throw your shield and a bandit catches it, increasing his defense by three. You're a special kind of dumb fuck, aren't you, Don? Oh, God, I'm swordless. I'm shieldless. And bitchless. We're also outnumbered. Four versus three. She yet. So what special moves do we all have? Hmm. Does anyone have any radiated toilet water? Maybe I can do my ultimate move? Wrong universe. I keep trying to call the Divine Mother's Holy Grace again, but she won't respond to my DMs anymore. And we can't respawn shit. We're gonna die. Please know I'm too young and handsome to die. Someone help. I call for help. Mommy? Your mom's dead. Skill issue. No, wait. Idiots. No one is going to die. They're just bandits. We've got this. I'm proficient in movement and archery, so I move away from the bandits to increase my longbow damage. Pussy. I use my archer's eye trade as a bonus action to further increase my damage. And then I roll to unleash a multi-attack with my bow. A 16. Excellent work, Obarman. These bandits are caught by surprise and aren't wearing any helmets. So your first arrow cleanly pierces one of their skulls, and the second arrow wounds another. Woohoo! Great work, Barbar. Now it's 3v3. We're gonna make it. Your turn now, Joey. You got this, Joey. Come on, old man. Damn it, did you really have to bring your hospital bed, Benny? 
Joe's getting sleepy just looking at it. I heal O'Barman. Full health. Full health. He's at full health, Joey. What else can you do? I turn the undead. There are no zombies here. My divine domain is of life and love. Unfortunately, in this class and at my current level, I can't do much in terms of damage. It's okay, buddy. You're still my friend. However, I can channel my divinity of love to charm one of the bandits, getting them on our side. Oh, mama. Excellent choice, Joey. You rolled a charm using your domain, and it's a success. Now I roll a wisdom saving throw for the bandit. What the fuck? Whose side are you on? Um, no. It's just the rules to determine the success of the charm. I'm watching you, Bendu. You better not betray us. It fails. The charm is a success. I never doubted your loyalty, Bengal. Good job, Joey. We're unstoppable, aren't we? I tell the charm bandit to attack the others and get my friend's shield back. I roll for the bandit's attack, and it's a 12. He strikes one of his thieving partners, holding the shield for one damage. Okay, now I roll to spit on the thieves. No. You've all had your turn. Now it's the bandits. Oh, boy. The charmed bandit will remain charmed until Joey's next turn. However, the other two thieving bandits watch you closely. With their agile mobility they are able to move away from their charmed friend to avoid an opportunity attack. So many words. Is it my turn yet? One thief rolls to attack Paladon with a throwing knife, and it's a success. Ah, oh, my leg. It hits your arm for two HP. Don't worry, I'll use everything I have to heal you on my turn, Paladon. Stop right there! You hear someone shouting from afar. Oh no, not more trouble. The town's guards approach you, holding their shields and spears, ready to attack. Finally some help. Hello, guards. These Mexican thieves are thieving and breaking the law or something. Nope. The other thief rolls to throw the shield at Paladon to distract then uses his abilities, fast hands, and thief reflexes. Leave me alone. Advantage roll due to distracting Paladon, and it's a success. The thief steals the gold pouch Paladon is holding, and they disengage and flee from combat. Bullshit! What the absolute bullshit fuckery is this? For fuck's sake. No, my ice cream money. As the town's guard approaches you from the front, you hear some heavy footsteps from behind. Well, at least we survived the combat. Good job, guys. Ball sacks, all our hard-earned gold. I kept telling you guys about building walls, but no one listens. No one ever listens. I said... You hear some heavy footsteps from behind. Oh, right. You all turn around and see... My gosh, it's my friend. The large knight who was standing outside the gay orc club. Turns out he wasn't its bouncer. He looks down at you and is ready to unsheathe his blade. He's on our side, right? I want to hug him. You're under arrest, says the town's guard. Seems like the king wants to punish you personally for crimes against the kingdom. What the fuck? No, 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 there has to be a mistake. I roll to persuade the guards that we're innocent. A four? You fail to persuade and they punch Paladon in the stomach. Why me? The guard nods to the large knight behind you. It seems they're all working together. The rest of the guards surround you and place you under arrest, covering your heads with sacks so you can't see. Bullshit, I've had enough arrests for one lifetime, Shabibo. Plus, look at my skin, got no melanin. Why would they fucking arrest me? I'm sorry, guys. My sister just messaged me. She wants me to go help her even though I'm in a hospital bed. Still, I can't say no to her. I wouldn't be able to say no to her either. My goodness, is she well endowed. I agree. I like it. Plus, your daughter is very sexy, too. I agree. I like it. Jesus, this is not how I wanted you two to bond. Well, thanks again for another fun D&D session, Ben. Yeah, so much better than Kim. Take care, Ben. Thank you, guys. See you later this week. And Ben, stay safe. Watch out for any cars. Will do. It seems we can't change destiny. What? Oh, yeah, you guys can't hear what I can. Yeah, we're not old enough to be deaf like you yet. I can't wait for the next session. I wonder what the king will do to us. I will take his throne. I really wish we could have got some ice cream. Well, bro, we're all free, right? How about we all go get some right now? Hell yeah, boys, I'm ready. Oh, golly, Pip, it's time for some choco-choco chip. <laughs> 